my name is Ashley Rice. I'm Lowell Rice. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, today we have another ice cream review. I feel like all I do is ice cream reviews, but I love it. So today we are trying out a newer brand of ice cream. It's been out for a while now, um, but I would still consider it kind of new. Yeah, it's a dairy brand that has, in the last few months, been getting into the vegan ice creams as well. Yes, and that brand is Cool House. So this guy here is made with their very special custom vegan-based featured pea protein, which has the highest protein ratio of any major single source of plant protein, which is 100% true. So if you are someone who you're wanting to find ways that you can really up your protein as a vegan, pea protein is like the way to go. Apparently the company is women founded and led. Woo, gotta love it. So they have three of these pints that are vegan that we have seen. However, one of them has literally been sold out for the past, what, two months now? Yeah, we've been trying to get a hold of the s'mores flavor, but we just can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Even when we find the other ones, because it just keeps selling out. Yeah, so we have not been able to get that one, so I won't be able to tell you what that one's like today. Um, and that's also why this video is coming out way later than I thought it was going to. But we do have two pint flavors and two ice cream sandwich flavors. And so the one I have today is mostly just going to be Lowell's. It's the peanut butter fudge chip. And I've got the salted caramel crunch. For the two little ice cream sandwiches, we have a horchata frozen dessert sandwich. And a mint chip. <laughs> it is specifically dirty mint chip. These are starting to melt, so I want to kind of get through everything quickly and let's start with these. So serving size is just going to be one of these guys. It's going to be 520 calories, total fat is 29 grams, uh, total carbs are 60 grams, which is 20% of your daily value, dietary fiber is 5 grams, sugar is 39 grams, dang. Protein is 5 grams, and you're getting 2% of your daily value of calcium and 10% of iron. This one's fairly different. Uh, it's got 430 calories, 18 grams of total fat. It's got 63 grams of total carbs, 21% of your daily value, 4 grams of fiber, 36 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein, and 2% for calcium. <sighs> That's a lot of sugar. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm not as big of a sweets person as I think most people are. I'm more a salty person. I love everything salty. Um, but you are like a sweets oh, person. Yeah. Um, I mean... My favorite vegan ice cream has no added sugar, if that gives you a clue. So this just seems like it's going to be really sugary. <laughs> it will, but it's going to be tasty. Yeah, I suppose. We'll see. Um, these also do contain wheat and soy, so if you're allergic, these are not the ice cream sandwiches for you. It also very much does say dairy-free. That's how you know it is the vegan one, because I don't think they make it... They do say vegan oh, on the back. They do have a vegan symbol as well, so you're good. One other thing to note, this one doesn't have soy. It just has wheat. Oh, so that one's good for it. There you go. Boom. Okay, I can feel these melting in our hands though, so we can just go for it. So huge. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna ever be able to eat all of this in one sitting. But let's go ahead and try them. You try that one, I try this one. What flavor do you have again? Horchata. Uh, just like cinnamon rice milk. Ooh, that'll be really nice too. Uh, in between snickerdoodle cookies. This is uh, between chocolate chip cookies and it is mint chip. Here we go. The mint could be stronger. This is like all cinnamony goodness. This is very chocolate heavy, which is another flavor I'm not as <laughs> big of a fan of um, compared to everyone else in the world. Um, it does have an interesting aftertaste. You try, you explain. Okay. Oh, I love snickerdoodle cookies. I'm gonna love this. <laughs> we might end up trading from what we thought we would mm. do. I think we're gonna end up trading from what we thought we would do. This is mine. <laughs> Real good. See, this one doesn't have as much of that aftertaste I was tasting in that one. I don't know, it kind of reminded me of like ripple chocolate milk, so maybe it's pea protein? I'm getting like one of the mints is hanging around the latest out of anything. Really? I was getting something very different from like the flavors that should have been there. I'm not a huge fan of that, and mint chip is my favorite ice cream flavor. I don't prefer I dip that one. Might be the cookies ruining it for you. I mean, the mint's also just not very strong, and I love very, very strong mint. We have more to eat, though, and I don't want to... This one, I could eat the whole thing. Moral of the story, I think we can both agree the Snickerdoodle one was real good. Horchata's just got a really nice flavor, too. Mm -hmm. But Snickerdoodles are the best. I think because they went for the fresh mint, it just isn't punching through to the front as much. 
And so it's much more heavy on the chocolate and it just like, it feels imbalanced. But now let's talk about the pint ones. Why am I, I'm not gonna like that one. <laughs> These are gluten-free. This one clearly contains peanuts and coconut. This one does contain coconut and soy. So nutrition info for the peanut butter fudge chip. There are three servings per container. It's 290 calories, 14 grams of fat, 38 grams of total carbs, which is 13% of your daily value, three grams of dietary fiber, 33 grams of sugar, four grams of protein, and 2% of your daily value of calcium. This one is pretty different. Uh, one serving size is a third of this guy. You're getting 260 calories. Total fat is 11 grams. Total carbs is 38 grams, which is 13% of your daily value. Dietary fiber is three grams. Sugar is 33 grams. Protein is two grams and everything else is zero percent. Okay, Oh, that's so cute. We hurt you. Man has a little hands going. Oh, <laughs> that's great. They're very different. Okay. They're silly. Open these bad boys up and try it out. Oh, this got the big honkers. I don't know if I'm gonna like Ooh. this. Um, I think I've talked about this in a different ice cream review video. See, even those ones are a lot smaller and nicer, but uh, the big honkers like this, I generally don't like. All right. Okay, let's try the peanut butter first because I'm not gonna like it. I don't like peanut butter. Mm. That's not true. Sometimes I like peanut butter, not in the mood today though. So, a little bit. A strong peanut butter. Oh. No, that's mostly peanut butter. If you like peanut butter, it's good. Peanut butter, but it's peanut butter. <laughs> it overpowers a lot of other flavors very easily. I just went for a bite with a lot of chocolate in it. And I gotta say, I don't know that I can even taste the chocolate. It's real strong peanut butter. Um, I also think they use dark chocolate. I did get one of the chocolate chunks and I had that last and it kind of tasted like dark chocolate. I mean, probably dark chocolate. Okay, let's move on to this guy. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. I think if you like peanut butter, you would like that one. Well, here's the thing. If you're an extreme peanut butter lover, I think you would like that one. Yeah. That's better. If you're the kind of person who gets like dark chocolate peanut butter cups, that's what this is making me think of. Got a blast of caramel. Definitely salted caramel. Yeah. It was interesting because I wasn't really getting much of flavor. I was like, oh, it's not really much there, not really much there, and then bam. Mm. I like it. It's like one. extremely salted, like especially the aftertaste. Well, for me, it was the first lick, although I did have the, uh, the chips at the top. So I think the top of the chips ended up with some salt on them. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because when my tongue hit that, it was like, bam, salt. See, there's two different flavors. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. It's so, so bright, but there's two flavors going on here. You have a lighter color and then a darker color. When I was in the lighter color, I wasn't really tasting much. And then I got to the portion that had the darker color and that's when it really hit me. I'm so, so with this one. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know if I'd go for it again. It's a little too salty for me, which is weird coming from the salt lover. However, if you love salted caramel, it's a very intense flavor. That's one thing I will say for them. Um, everything besides the mint was really intense flavors. And I think they did a really, really good job on that, which is something I normally absolutely love. It just has to be flavor that I really like. And so I will definitely say like, if you love strong flavors, they do a really, really good job with this, except for the mint. That's the only area that they failed in. And that's, and that's the one because, I'm most excited about. That's because the chocolate is really strong in that one. Mm -hmm. I might get this one again. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'd go for the peanut butter one again. Mostly because I'm sometimes, more often than Ashley, in the mood for peanut butter. I just don't go seeking it out. I'm really, really, really intrigued to try their s'mores flavor. And I'm guessing it's really good because it's been mm. sold out for a really, really long time. And for how intense the flavors are, like that's gotta be a real good oh. s'mores flavor. Yeah, that's probably got a whole like punchy in the face marshmallow with like good bits of chocolate and graham cracker. Yeah. I can definitely understand with how these flavors go that one doing really well with their yeah. strong flavor yeah. preference. So if you can find that one, we have not been able to find it for two months now. If you can find it, grab it in a heartbeat because I'm assuming that one will be amazing. Also the snickerdoodle guy, that was real good. <laughs> Parchata. So of these four things, we already know which one's your favorite. Snickerdoodle, by far. And the peanut butter's your least favorite. Yep. But between the other two. 
Um, I would do the salted caramel as my second favorite and the mint chocolate as my third. I think I agree with your ranking. The snickerdoodle is definitely the best thing that we were able to track down. S'mores would probably beat it. I'm so sad we didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I think my second choice is also the salted caramel crunch. I like the flavors they got going on. Mm -hmm. I probably would get this at some point again for myself. I do like that it was a natural mint. However, it just wasn't strong enough. And then the peanut butter one is just... It's peanut butter. So would you do mint and then peanut butter or peanut butter and then mint? Mint and then peanut butter. Okay. I'm really excited that the company is putting out vegan flavors and I love the fact that their flavors are so strong. I think that's something that really sets them apart from the competition um, is that their flavors are really intense and you don't get that a ton in other areas. Usually they're just strong or they're like medium um, or they're not there at all. I've had that happen. I'm excited to see what other flavors they start to put out. I would love to see some like fruitier flavors or for a mint chocolate chip with more mint, you know? I think there are other brands of vegan ice cream that I like better that suit my taste because I, I am picky, I'll admit it. Um, I think someone said that once in one of the comments on my videos, they were like, wow, I thought I was a picky person. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, I can be picky. I'll admit it, I know what I like. Um, I'm willing to admit that. I think, yeah, it's nice that another brand is getting into the vegan ice cream market. And I think it's interesting that people are trying to find their niches within that. And I think they'll continue to expand the options available for people who are looking. Oh yeah. And especially for people who are already familiar with this brand and their types of ice creams on the dairy front. Mm -hmm. It's easier to say, hey, I already know and like this brand. Maybe I'll try their non-dairy things. People have been talking about being lactose intolerant and I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe I'm not. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're trying to cut out dairy for other reasons too, uh, for ethical or otherwise. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way to ease the transition for more people. Oh, 100%. I love that companies are slowly coming out with more vegan options. I think, yeah, it makes it more accessible for a lot of people, whether it's a mind thing that you have to get over or just like what's available in your store too. And it's brand trust for a lot of people. Oh, too. yeah. That's a big thing, especially in the States. Yeah. I think that's all of our thoughts for today, you guys. I would definitely say still worth trying out, especially if you love these type of flavors or you love really, really strong flavors. Or if you like the company already and you're someone who does dairy and you want to try a dairy alternative, definitely 100% still recommend. I think they're a good company and I think they put out a really good product. Just maybe not hitting the things that I want. Might hit the things that you're looking for. With that said, if you have tried this company, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you have tried their s'more flavor, let me know if you think I'll like it <laughs> and uh, if it was like good at all because it's been sold out for so freaking long. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all my future content. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.